Welcome everyone. We're here today with Dr. Myers to learn about managing and understanding chronic conditions and I'm going to ask him to introduce himself. Hi there, I'm Sean Myers. I'm a family physician at Valley Medical Center's Kent Primary Clinic. Let's start with our first question. What is a chronic condition? So a chronic condition is technically any health condition that lasts longer than three months. But when we talk about chronic health conditions, we're usually referring to either one of two groups of conditions, either something that if you don't get it taken care of is going to decrease the quality of your life. Think chronic back pain, depression, and anxiety. They last a long time, but if you take care of it bit by bit with exercises or medications, you can live a happier, healthier life. The other category that we tend to be referencing is conditions that you might not be bothered by, but if you don't get them under control, can lead to further health problems and increase your risk of death, like diabetes or high blood pressure. What are the most common chronic conditions? Well, there are a lot of different chronic conditions and it almost depends on kind of your age range. If I'm talking in general, probably the most common chronic condition is obesity, affecting more than 60% of the United States population. It's an important condition because it can increase the risk of other health problems, other chronic conditions. If we're talking about younger individuals, the more common chronic conditions tend to be things like depression and anxiety. If we're talking about older individuals, that tends to be things like high blood pressure, arthritis, diabetes. Those are kind of the more common older chronic conditions. Are there some warning signs and symptoms for some chronic conditions? Well, that's almost a trick question. So for some things like asthma or chronic back pain, you might be feeling short of breath or you might be having back pain flares. But for the more significant chronic conditions like diabetes or high blood pressure, hypertension, you only really get the symptoms when it's very, very uncontrolled and causing a threat to your health. For high blood pressure, a severely uncontrolled high blood pressure will cause headaches and chest pain and maybe some vision changes. For severely uncontrolled diabetes, you might be thirsty all the time and peeing all the time because your body's trying to lower the sugar. Really, things like diabetes and hypertension are called silent killers because they are causing damage to your blood vessels uh, the entire time that they're high, high pressure or high sugar, and that damage will build up over months. That's why it's very important to come see a primary care doctor for regular screening so we can try to catch things like diabetes, high cholesterol, high blood pressure early on. Why are chronic conditions of particular concern right now? Well, it's of particular concern because of the pandemic. A lot of people have had to put off their primary care for a couple of years, and that can cause their chronic conditions to either go unmanaged or not be caught early. As an example, we normally do screening for diabetes and high cholesterol at annual physicals, and we might not have had the chance to intervene if we didn't get the chance to catch it. In regards to control, some things like high blood pressure, diabetes, weight gain can increase slowly over time so you don't notice it. And if we haven't seen you for a couple of years, maybe the control is worsened and we aren't getting the chance to help you. What is the role of your primary care provider in helping you manage your chronic conditions? Well, I'd say we have two roles. The first one is to perform the screenings to catch those chronic conditions. And the second is to come up with plans to help you manage your chronic conditions. It can take a while to make those lifestyle changes to get the conditions under control, and sometimes a while to find the correct combination of medications to help out. Because of that, we need multiple visits over a long period of time. That's why they're called chronic conditions. Unfortunately, with the way life has been right now, with the pandemic and how backed up people are in getting their chronic care, it's been a little bit hard to get people in. Fortunately, we do have a few tools to help us out with that. We are now making telehealth appointments where you can see us virtually if you can't get in to see us in person. And if you have simple questions or you need to set up an appointment, you can also send us my chart messages to accomplish kind of the simple level tasks we need to take care of in between visits. If you have a family member or loved one you're concerned about, what suggestions do you have? Well, I'd say express your concerns to them and work on getting them in with us. Sometimes a person might not care enough about their own health conditions to take the steps that are needed, but hearing that you are worried about it or hearing that their uncontrolled health condition is affecting you, you know, they're probably gonna care about that and it might motivate them more. It might be what they need to take that extra step to take their medications or check their blood sugars or get in to see us. Their health is a community effort. What are some ways that you can reduce the risk or severity of many chronic illnesses? Well, I'd say there's two big things. The first is to get the screenings. If we don't catch it early, we can't intervene. The other one though, the real big one, if I had to pick one thing, is to move, be fit, and exercise, if you will. 
Exercise or being fit decreases your blood pressure. It makes your body process sugar better to help with diabetes. It can cause weight loss. You have anxiety and depression. Moving for more than a certain amount of time releases those feel-good hormones, those endorphins, and can make you feel better. There is literally the one magic cure that's moving and being active if you have the time for it. Is it possible that you can manage some chronic conditions so well that they'll go away? Not quite. So once you have a health condition, you really tend to have it for the rest of your life. Um, if you're talking about diabetes or high blood pressure and you're barely into those ranges, if you had a lot that you could change in your life already, maybe. If you went from being a couch potato and eating unhealthy to running marathons and, and eating the perfect diet, yeah, you might be able to get rid of your diabetes or get rid of your high blood pressure. But oftentimes there's already been some bit of damage done to the body and that you're working on preventing further damage. Thank you, Dr. Myers, for answering our questions. For those of you watching, to learn more or to find a primary care provider at Valley, please go to the link below and you can look for a provider in your area on our website.